So this is the Mevo Plus, by far one of the most popular launch models around right now, coming in at around $2,000. And in today's video, I'm here at the range with my golf instructor Garrett, just to see how accurate it really is. So let's do this. The FlightScope Mevo Plus is a launch monitor and a simulator that uses FlightScope's fusion tracking technology. Now, fusion tracking technology is an innovative combination of both 3D Doppler tracking radar and a synchronized high-speed image processing that provides the most accurate and consistent data for every shot. So what the Mevo Plus gives you straight out of the box is distance, club speed, ball speed, shot apex, smash factor, a calculation of swing speed and ball speed, launch angle, and it can be used as a simulator. Now, for an extra $1,000, making the Mevo Plus $299.9, you can get the Mevo Plus Pro. Now, this is an optional add-on that gives you even more data, including the full D-plane. So you get face to path, face to target, dynamic loft, club path, vertical and horizontal swing, low point, vertical descent angle, and a whole lot more. Now, this is all displayed on your iOS or Android device, and it can even automatically record video. For outdoor use, you're gonna need to have the Mevo Plus at least six to eight feet from behind the ball and there's a radar unit within the unit that will track the shot. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a little practice session. We're gonna hit three clubs, a pitching wedge, a seven iron, and a driver. And to compare the shots, we'll be using a GC quad to see how accurate the Mevo Plus really is. So let's do this. So first up is gonna be the pitching wedge. We've already set everything up and the numbers are already starting to look good. So we're gonna hit three shots with the pitching wedge and we're gonna see how they turn out. So let's do this. Yeah. A shot. All right, so what do you got on carry? It's processing. 124. I got 123.9. Wow. So pretty close there, huh? That's really close. That's the same thing, basically. OK, it's registering. I got 121.3. Windy out here, 123. So like two yards? Yeah. Yard, yard and a half? That's not bad. Okay, third and final shot. Let's see how this looks. I saw the strike. Wind's pulling it too a little bit. Yeah, the wind's kind of playing with the distance today. I got 126.7. Okay, 127. Jeez. <laughs> Three tenths of a yard. All right, so you can tell that the Mevo Plus is super accurate when it comes to the pitching wedge in terms yeah. of the GC quad. Now, the GC quad is like 15 grand, so like that's pretty impressive. So. Let's go ahead and do the seven iron next. Okay, cool. Wow, wind's really pulling them left. Yeah, huh? it's kind of the wind's affecting the carry distance, but the, they'll still be accurate. I got one fifty-seven point three. One sixty. So that's like two yards. Yeah. Nice shot. I got one fifty-one point seven. That wind's really into us today. God. Yeah, yeah. it's making it really like one sixty again. So 160? Yeah. So about nine yards that time was off? Yeah. And still pulling it left a little. I got 159.1. 159 on your end? Yeah. All right, let's see. Come on, baby. 159. So they're rounding numbers. That's crazy. So yeah, that so we made one off by like nine yards, and then the next one was like dead on. What was the first one was pretty close too, huh? Yeah, it was like two yards. It was off. just an odd duck on the second one. Yeah, so I mean, so, I mean, if you average that out with like less than five yards. Yeah, so it's yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, so now we've done the seven iron and the pitching wedge, and I'm pretty impressed with these numbers. Last up was the driver. This is where these units kind of wary a little bit, so I'm really interested to see what happens here with the driver. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, got it. So I have 235 on the carry. <laughs> this shows, I don't know. Let's see what it says. Oh, there. God. Yeah, 245 on my end. Really? Yeah. So 10 yards. I mean, it was like a solid <laughs> hit, but it's okay. I mean, it's a miss hit. So, I mean, it's, it's off hit. by 10. In my mind, 10 yards is like the, the it has to be no more than that. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, For a driver. Yeah, yeah. Like an iron, it should be within about five, and I think a driver should be within 10. Yeah. But I mean, on a miss hit, it's still pretty close. No, for sure. <laughs> you drove as far as I drive. <laughs> My God. That's solid. Not okay. better. I gotta get out there. 243 carry. Really? Uh huh. I think it's the, I mean, the wind. It's the wind. The wind's gotta be pushing. The wind's that probably thing, like 30, 30, 25, 30 into us today. Oh, yeah. 248. Five yards off. That's nuts. 
Okay, 240 carry. So that one picked up. Yeah, it did. Not in. So what do you got? 268. That's like 20 yards. So big thanks to my instructor Garrett here at the Tour Striker Academy for letting us do this amazing golf facility. To be honest, I'm just blown away with the Mevo Plus. I mean, on average, I would say both the pitching wedge and the seven iron were off by what, like three yards? Three yards, if that, yeah, pretty close. I mean, that's amazing, yeah. right? Like, I mean, it's even, even less than three yards. Yeah. But, you know, again, with the driver, as we've seen with other units, um, on average, around 10. We had like a 20, a five, and a 10. So on average, like 10 yards off. That's pretty much expected, but I mean, this is a $2,000 unit. The GC Quad is 15 grand, so I feel it's a lot more accurate yeah. than this unit. So it's hard to tell. I mean, but I, I think it's definitely within um, tolerance, I guess you could say, with the driver, as we've seen with other um, brands when it comes to their launch monitors. So I got my Mevo Plus from our good friends at playbetter.com. They're huge supporters of our show and our community. So there's links down below where you can check out the Mevo Plus. But if you want to see what we thought when we put the Mevo Plus against the Garmin R10, then check out this video right here where we put the test. And I'll see you in the next video.